Hello, this is Shantae with Simply Shantae Renee. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back for another video. You guys, I have some goodies today that I am so excited about. Um, I have some fountain pens here. Well, <laughs> One fountain pen, one dip pen, but I'm super excited about this new journey with my fountain pens. So if you're interested about fountain pens, please stay tuned. Okay guys, so let me just give you a little backstory. Um, I've always like calligraphy and writing and stationary and things of that nature. Um, and one of my planner besties has recently started playing around with some fountain pens. And I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. You know, I like that. However, I came across the video, I believe it's by Tills Gold. And she was doing a pen swatch of her um, actual dip pen. And I was hooked. I was super excited. And I'm like, oh my God, like, I gotta go find me a pen. So um, I know my planner bestie had ordered her pens offline, but I didn't want to wait. So I started looking up to see if like Michael's or Hobby Lobby, Joann's, you know, your local craft stores actually had some of those dip pen or some of the fountain pens. And to my surprise, you guys, uh, Hobby Lobby had some pens. I stayed in there for about, I was in there for about an hour, but I stayed in the pen section for probably about 30 to 45 minutes because I am so picky when it comes to stuff. And I wanted, um, I didn't want to spend a lot of money just to try the pen. However, I didn't want the, the cheapest one either. So it took me a while and I think I found two good starters for myself. I have my notebook here. You guys, I got this book from, it's like a bullet journal. I got it from Dollar General for three bucks the other day, and I'm super excited about it because for some reason, I am having a desire to get into bullet journaling just a little bit. I am one who kind of likes, um, not necessarily even bullet journaling, but like planning or just decorating this. I am one who usually likes to have a canvas that is already laid out, um, but for some reason, I'm having like a little desire and spark to get into other things with journaling, planning, yada, yada, yada. But I thought this was super cute for three bucks and it comes with 100, 120 sheets. The side is a little different. It almost seems like the design, they left it off. But I mean, I do love that it opens up really, really nicely and it pretty much lays flat. So um, there you go. If you're looking for an expensive pen, you guys know that I like to ball on a budget. So I say, um, I don't like to spend a whole lot of money on things unless I really, really, really just have to have the, the most expensive. Okay. So anyway, let's start off. I haven't even played with this one yet, you guys, but let's start off with this dip pen. Guys, it's beautiful. It is by the Master's Touch and it's called Master's Touch Fine Art Studio Glass uh, Dip Pen Set. It comes with the pen pen rest and about um, five mils of black ink. It was $8.99 at Hobby Lobby. They were a percentage off, so I think I ended up paying like $5.39 for this, which was not bad. This is the pen that I saw um, Tills Gold using. However, I think she said she got hers from Amazon, but look at how beautiful this is. I didn't even know. I mean, I guess I knew dip pens exist. I didn't know this beautiful dip pen existed okay so this is so cute um i hope i don't break it you also get this little pen rest it's probably hard to see on camera so i don't i don't know do you kind of lay it like that oh, okay cool that's cute all right and then you also get a little ink there so i have not tried playing with this one but i think i'm gonna pull this post-it here off to the side and just see, let me shake this ink up a little bit. I know dealing with ink, it can get a little messy. Uh, and I should have put a piece of paper down here. How about, let me go ahead and put something down here. Because this is my main filming area. And I don't want to mess it up. Okay. And so, you guys, if you are interested in this, um, Hobby Lobby did have a lot of other inks. 
Um, I'm so nervous. I don't know why. But they had a lot of other inks that were about $5.99. So I don't know why I was just so drawn to the red one. I'm just going to dip it in here a little bit. Let's see what it does. Oh, I got to get practice. <laughs> That's okay. I'm a beginner. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I definitely have to practice a little bit more um, in how I do this. Because you know what? I'd be mad if I was writing a letter right now. Okay, okay. Uh, and I think that I am definitely picking up a lot of ink. Um, and it's definitely something in the strokes. So I don't know if you have to start downward first. I don't know. Looks like I got to do a lot of more research. It looks so easy when she was doing it. And maybe she has a better pen than I. Or do you kind of hold it to the side a little more? Oh my, I'm excited and, you know, knowledgeable that I need to practice <laughs> all in one. But I'm super excited about this dip pen. I'm really excited because I feel like if I was exploring different inks, I would probably want to use more of this dip pen so I could just easily clean it off. And I don't really want to buy um, too many found pens for just all these different color inks. I know that you can use like ink cartridges and converters to change your inks, but I think my main ones will probably be black ink because I just love the black ink and I love it being different, but I will probably explore with the pink or the different color inks with um, the dip pens. Here it is again, you guys. There's my, <laughs> my first attempt with the dip pen. Um, I am just going to sit this back over here and I'll clean that off off camera. But I think that this is a great purchase for $8.99. I definitely need to practice uh, more. Okay, so my other one is this. It's by Manuscript. It is the Calligraphy. Oops. It is the Calligraphy Deluxe set here. So you get one pen, but you get... Um, what is it? Six different nibs. So nibs is the tip itself. So you get a 0.85 millimeter, 1.1, 1.35, 1.6, 2.2, and a 2.8. And it kind of shows you here on the side the different um, thicknesses of it. And so this one was $24.99. Now what I can't understand, guys, is how I got a discount off <laughs> the dip pen, but this one that was $24.99 didn't get a discount at all. But anyway, it comes in this little tin here. And here is how the set looks in the inside. So you do get uh, four ink cartridges, two black. This looks like a green and a red. And then these are the different um, like pen settings that you can use with the golden part down at the bottom being the nib. So the actually NIB, so the actual writing tool that you use. And then this little thing I learned was a pen converter. So after I bought it, I was like, I need to really research the parts so I can know <laughs> what I'm doing. And so here is the pen that you get. And I was drawn to this one because it had the gold. Some of the other ones were silver and that's fine. Um, but this is a plastic casing, so it is not anything fancy. But I think it was um, a good starter pen for me. And so here is the side of that. And as you open it up here, this is how your like little nib. So this portion here is the nib, okay? So I actually have on the medium um, nib and I am just gonna go in here and write. Now, again, this is not the most, you know, expensive one. So, you know, <laughs> choose at your own risk if you choose to invest, but I like it so far. 
Um, you do have to kind of get it started. And that was one of the things that when I was reading the reviews, people were kind of like saying it does take a while for the pen to get started. But for me, I have found that once I've gotten it started, that it continues to flow until I stop using the pen again. Um, someone also said that these were made for, I saw a couple of reviews saying this was made for left-handed writers. And I'm not really sure if that causes the flow not to be um, as good, but I mean, to flow getting it started off as good. I don't know. So I didn't see that anywhere um, on the packaging, but I saw a couple of reviews. So what I found is that I just kind of press it a little bit to kind of open it some. And of course, now I'm on camera. It's not going to work. <laughs> Isn't that how it always happens? There we go. So I just kind of press it down a little bit, which in my research as well, you do want to be careful with the pressure. So if you're used to writing with like ballpoint pens, sometimes those take a lot of pressure, but these, you know, you just want to kind of give minimal pressure. Let's see. And I'm just gonna write my name. And I definitely think there is an art. I will say that I um, so far have used not all of the nibs yet, but I've just used a few and I do like the uh, fine point a lot more. So I'm just going to try to, and I think as well, once you um, have a good quality paper too, now I'm not going to go out and buy a whole lot of paper, but I just think this pen is so cute uh, and so cool. And so here's the hello. Now, one cool thing I think about having multiple pens is that you can just interchange through them pretty quickly. Uh, these don't take a lot to pull off, but again, you got to let the pen flow. So I don't want to go through all that on camera, but I did want to let you guys know if you were looking into getting a starter set that this is pretty cool to get all the different nib sizes. So as you go, I will go and try to do one more, but I won't do all of them. And another thing I should say about, so that is the medium size. Oh gosh, you know, years are not writing in cursive. <laughs> it looks like it's smeared on camera, but on my paper, it's not. So I will say this. Um, oh, can't get it. I had put on lotion before I did my video, you guys. So my hands aren't dry on camera. And now... It's taking a while to get this off. Here we go. So I will say one thing about this pen is that it tells you to use one of the, so this is the other ink cartridge and it tells you to put that in the bottom to give this support. And I'm not sure if I've seen other pens like that in my research. My research has come from YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram, by the way. <laughs> and I found out a lot of good things. So when you want to change out your ink with this particular pen or you want to change your nib, you just pull this ink cartridge out. I do think these ink cartridges are pretty cool. Um, and so I would just put this one back and let me just look and see if I can find the smaller one again. These numbers on here are really tiny. So um, let's see, I can pull that one out. And then I am just going to put the ink in here and put it like that. And as you it back together it's supposed to help the ink start to flow and again i am going to press a little bit to see if i can get it to come out more i don't know if you any of you have a trick to um getting your ink to flow down more and i think that is specific to this pen i do remember seeing a lot of reviews of sometimes people saying the pen was skipping um but like I said, usually for me, if I kind of put a little pressure on it, I've gotten it to start. Here we go. And so this is the fine tip. I almost forgot how to write a, um, <laughs> a cursive F, you guys. Let's get back to the basics. I mean, I don't even think cursive is taught in school anymore. But this is the fine. So it, it is a little bit thinner than the medium. Um, 
but not a whole lot. But this is considered the fine. And I don't know if there was one smaller than that. So there's a 2B broad. Let me look and see. Um, so only thing I just, I don't like about it is that how they're labeled on the nib, they're not labeled here. So I'm not sure which one the 0.8 is. I'm not sure if there's one that is smaller than that. Um, but I'm pretty sure, let's see, 2B, this is fine. I'm pretty sure that there's one um, thinner than this, but I won't go through all of that on camera. I don't want this video being too long, but you guys, I am super excited about this. I do again need to continue to practice, um, but I love this for just signatures and things that I need to sign off. I'm thinking about getting one specifically for work um, because I do have to sign off on a lot of documents at my job. Um, however, I would be so sad if um, my pen walked off. <laughs> so I used to be one who took more pricier pens to work and I've lost them or somehow they have, have walked away and I was just like, nope. The basic Dollar Tree, you know, sometimes they will have pens provided for us at work, but the basic Dollar Tree or the cheapest pen is for work. So, okay, guys, I just wanted to share this with you because somebody might be just as excited as I am um, about this fountain pen. I am looking at some more that I have already have in my Amazon cart. Again, through my research on Instagram, particularly, I found two to three other pens. Um, and, and when I get those, I will come back and do some type of post or review or something on those as well. So you guys can keep up with my journey. Um, again, as I always like to end my videos, wait a minute, before I say that, if you have not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and like the video. Leave me a comment. Let me know, have you guys tried out fountain pens? Are you a pen um, enthusiast? Um, even if you like regular pens, let me know what some of your favorite pens are because I love pens, writing utensils, all that stuff that comes along with stationery. Now, um, as I like to end my videos, always be fearless, be intentional, and strive to walk in excellence. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.